All right, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, um, what I'm going to ask you to do, uh, Samantha, is to go ahead and identify the first five terms of the sequence. So Jake, basically what we're looking into doing is we want to find the first five terms of the sequence. So you can see here we have this explicit formula, which represents um, the nth term of the sequence. So what we're going to want to do is find out what is the first term in the sequence. So to do that, all we're simply going to do is wherever we had an n, we're going to replace it with a 1. So we have negative 2 times 1 plus 1. So the first term in the sequence is going to be negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2, plus 1 is going to give us negative 1. Then we move to the second term of the sequence. Now we're replacing n with 2. Negative 2 times 2 plus 1 equals negative 3. Is this like negative so now we do negative 2 times 3, which is negative 6, plus 1 right is now? negative 5. Are we modeling? Yes. Okay. So you guys can see that all I'm basically doing to find the number, the number in the sequence, all I'm basically doing is replacing, oops, I'm sorry, that's supposed to be an n. All I'm doing is simply replacing the number in the sequence that I want to with, uh, or I'm replacing that number in for n. So this isn't a part of the question, but let's just say I asked, well, we know 1 through 5, right? That was the sequence. So if we were going to list them as a sequence, we'd just write negative 1, negative 3, negative 5, negative 7, and negative 9. That would be a list of our sequence. However, what if I just asked, ladies and gentlemen, what is the tenth number in the sequence? Does anybody know that without continuing down, can we figure out? Well, we do negative 2 times 10, which is negative 20, plus 1, which would be? Negative 19. So all, if I wanted to figure out what 10 would be, I would just put a 10 in for the n. Negative 2 times 10, which would be negative 20, plus 1 is negative 19. So just want to get you guys the way, just to understand of what the power of the explicit.